My ruin wall display base project started out with a wall section from Red Bricks Diorama and then the street and sidewalk section is from Dioramas Plus. The street section had a bow in the center and so I need to fix that to flatten it out so that the tracks of a tank model would sit flat on the street. I decided to try to replicate a 1930s style asphalt street and I thought well since it's a wartime display base I should probably have some potholes in it. So what I did is I took some cardboard cutouts placed those on the original base and then plastered around it so it was flat and then once the plaster was dry and sanded flat I could pull the cardboard out and then I would have my potholes. Well, now that my street's flat and I have my potholes, I needed to mount the plaster street and sidewalk to an extruded foam base. Now, the extruded foam offers a lot of support to the plaster. Plaster is actually pretty fragile, so it would be really easy to crack, and the extruded foam gives it a lot of strength. I needed to build up the back and extend the, the scene a little bit so I had room to fit my wall. And to do that, I just cut some additional foam and glued it in place level with the sidewalk. I took some sifted dirt from my yard and glued that inside the potholes. It's like, you know, I, you look in a street in your town and you look and you got a pothole and it's usually a bunch of debris down in the pothole, some gravel, some dirt, some pieces of asphalt. So I needed to glue some dirt down in the holes and then I took some plaster, cast it, put it in a baggie and then hit it with a hammer to break it up to make some asphalt chunks. And I put those in place and initially I had just a few pieces but then I figured I need a lot more pieces of asphalt debris and so you can see in this photo that I've added quite a few more pieces. So I'm pretty happy with how my potholes look and now I need to work on the texture of the street and you know with asphalt it's like some sort of tar mixture and gravel all mixed together so the street has some texture to it and I took some of the finest sand from my sifted dirt and I placed that on the street and then I went ahead and locked it down with scenic glue which scenic glue is essentially just diluted white glue with a little bit of dish soap in it and then once that dries I mean it's like rock hard and so my my little sand texture for my street is fixed now that I had my asphalt texture in place, I went ahead and painted the street just to get an idea to see how it looked. I put the wall section in place and then started to build up rubble mounds to the sides. I didn't secure the wall section because I needed to remove it for painting. I would painted the wall section with automotive primer earlier and it's just rattle can primer. And now that it's time to paint it, I went in and looked at it more closely for any defects like air bubbles and things like that. And then I would take a pick and then I would pick at the air bubbles to make the shapes more irregular so they didn't look like air bubbles. I used oil paint to paint the wall and I started with the terracotta colors, the brick and the tiles. And uh, once I had a base color down and then I modified my color palette to give me some variation in hues of the of the bricks and the tile. 
mixed up some grays and browns to give the stone wall some variation in color. Uh, you look at a stone wall and the stones are actually many different colors. Once the wall was painted, I sprayed it with an acrylic clear coat and now I can use oils and enamels on the wall for weathering and it won't affect the colors underneath. My first weathering step was to create a filter. I used a light gray oil paint, very, very thin, and I coated the wall with that to tone down the colors a bit. After applying the filter, I used an enamel wash and used that to highlight the mortar joints. I secured the wall section to the base using some grout left over from a home improvement project. I used grout to build up the rubble piles then I took crushed plaster and pressed that into the wet grout to simulate rubble. I added to the rubble field with more sifted dirt and crushed plaster and then I held all that in place with the uh, scenic glue again. Once I had the rubble how I liked it, I went ahead and sprayed it with my airbrush so that everything was a uniform color. I used oil paints again to paint some of the individual pieces of rubble to match the stone colors in the wall. Once I had everything painted, then I started adding pigments. Initially I focused on the potholes and then after I had that the way I liked it, I moved to the sidewalk. Lastly, I painted the perimeter edging with black paint, and that finishes up the project. 